What's good YouTube? Hope all is well with your Devalian Sense coming back at you once again with another fragrance review. Got the sample this time of this particular fragrance and it is growing in popularity. I always uh, cherish the chance that I get to uh, celebrate and support uh, a black owned uh, fragrance brand since that's what I'm really into. That's what this channel is all about. And of course, if you've read the title already from the house of Savoir Faire, we have Soul Cafe. So, trying to see which one I wanna to show to you first. That came in the mail um, when I first received the sample. I got a 10, 10 ml sample, so first we'll start with this. Uh, this is the first card that I'll show you here. It shows a gentleman making the fragrance. This is what I got from this he's actually making the fragrance it says savoir faire is a pioneer of black owned fragrance brands the parfums are for men and women so all unisex each fragrance is hand blended bottled and boxed by chris classic in atlanta georgia so i'm guessing that that is chris classic right here on the photo very nice photo shows him actually making the fragrance and then you've got this on the back right there. Basically, it's talking about you're out here. It says you're out here ruining everything, everything we've historically accepted about who makes perfumes we love, how the advertising looks, and the old snobby stigmas around who buys fragrances by supporting Savoir Faire. You are normalizing the relevance and viability of quality black owned fragrance companies. We are one of the first in America and with your continued love we will help we'll, we will help to lead the way forward for us all thank you so that's the first card there <clears throat> and so we'll get into the next card and this features uh, what I would think probably the first of first five of many and what they are putting out what's available Soul Cafe, tobacco, bergamot, blood orange, black pepper, patchouli, private musk blend, amber wood, oud, lavender, Arabic coffee, and firewood. So you can see that right there. You can also check it out on the website. Had to get this sample size. Here it is, Savoir Fair, and it's got some nice art here. Make sure I'm showing that the right way. And um, you always want to sample first. This is the smallest sample size they had. They only had the 10, 10 ml. And of course, here we are, Soul Cafe. And you can see the juice level there. So I've gotten a good amount of this out of here as far as using it and sampling it. So first of all, I will say very nice on the presentation, even just for a sample. It's a high quality, high quality here as far as the hand craftsmanship, the bottle, everything is very nice. And of course, we will give it a spray here. So you can see the sample size sprayer. So very nice. To remind myself. <clears throat> it's got some strength to it, so you don't need too much. The 10 ml has been lasting me for quite a while. It will continue to last me as far as the rest of this goes. If I had this for some time. To remind myself of what's going on here. So Yeah, very nice, very nice. So I'll go through the notes in terms of what I get here. Uh, I don't get tobacco. I don't get tobacco. I do get uh, bergamot. The big time player for me, again, it could play off different on your skin, but the big time player for me that lasts all the way through the fragrance is the blood orange. 
And so Blood Orange, you see, is that third note. Blood Orange really plays hard on my skin here. Uh, black Pepper, not so much. Patchouli, I get a little bit. Musk Blend, I do get a little bit of musk. I do get a woody base on the dry down. Uh, I don't really get oud in terms of what I'm used to smelling as far as what I smelled like, what oud smells like to me. And I know there are different types of oud, but for me, I don't really get oud. Uh, I get a little bit of lavender. And here's the kicker, the coffee and the firewood and what's been said by other reviewers, I thought that this was going to be a major player. And for me, it's not. The coffee and the firewood come in on the end, on the dry down, but they're peaking up like this on my skin. Yeah, yeah right there, just like that. So <laughs> they peak in, but they, they, they come in and then they disappear and then they come in again and then they disappear. And the whole time from beginning to end, the blood orange is the star player on my skin. Yeah, so the blood orange, I'm getting it, I'm getting a little patchouli as well and some amber wood, but blood orange is the main player out of everything. And then the sweetness from the other notes that come around that. And then, like I said, the coffee and the firewood and the dry down, that's the biggest thing for me. Is this full bottle worthy? I would say yes. However, not right now. We are um, at the time of recording this, it's uh, the end of November. And so at the end of the November, last week of November, just coming out of the Thanksgiving weekend, this for me is a springtime scent. If the coffee in the firewood, if the coffee was a major player, the firewood, the black pepper, uh, the patchouli, amber tobacco, if those were major players in this for me, then I would say, yeah, full bottle worthy for right now, fall, definitely winter time, it would be full bottle worthy for me. But for me, it's not. Now, that's why you try it out for yourself. You try it on your skin and see how it works. If those other notes come in for you and they come in well, then go. I would say full bottle worthy definitely for this time of year. But for me, springtime is when this is gonna hit because since the blood orange is the star player from beginning to end on my skin, that's when I wanna wear or smell like blood orange. When the blood orange note comes out, the fruitiness of the blood orange will work well in the springtime for me. I don't think necessarily I want blood orange for cold weather. I want it for when we're just coming out of cold weather and we're embarking into the warm weather. I would say cool summer days, high heat. I don't know about the blood orange on my skin. I don't know if it might be too cloying or not, but hey, it could work. The fruitiness could work. But since that's the major player for me, that's the best time for me to wear it. That's why you sample it and see when is the best time for you to wear it. So I would say springtime and heading into summer, all of spring and heading into summer, this is the time to wear Soul Cafe for me. But again, you try it on your own skin, see how it works. And the thing with this one in particular, Soul Cafe, the full bottle sometimes is sold out and then it's in stock and then it's sold out and then it's in stock. So the next time that you see it, after you sample it, the next time that you see it and you got the money in your account, you might wanna go ahead and buy it then, even if you don't intend to wear it just yet. Because I've been looking, like I said, sold out in stock, sold out in stock, sold out in stock for the full bottle. So it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You're gonna have the money and then it's sold out and then you're not gonna have the money and then it's in stock. I can't stand that. I can't stand it, but hey, it's a if it's popular and it's working or it's, it's just, it, it works and you want to get it, and then you're gonna have to make those two line up sometime and buy it when it's in stock and when you have the money. <laughs> so I would say maybe I do get this now, or maybe I do get this in the near future uh, so that I have it ready for spring because I don't wanna get to spring and then I can pay, I got the money and it's sold out and I don't know when it's coming back in stock. So that's the game that you play. I am happy for this brand, I'm happy for this brand getting started and getting going 
And like I said, the other two that I want to try out for sure, not really feeling Sin Santo and Sage and Ascension, but uh, Whiskey Rose and Beau Noir, definitely want to check those out. But this is the review for Soul Cafe. As always, I appreciate all of my subscribers. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, believe until you stop breathing. This is Devalian with Devalian Sense. I appreciate all of the support. Please go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.